The upcoming holidays are without a doubt my favorite time of year. I just love all the outdoor decorations and it all starts with the front porch. On this episode of Sweet Living, I'm going to show you three simple and easy DIYs that follow what I like to call the good start, great finish plan. The holidays can get a little crazy, so make it easy on yourself and cut some corners with these three easy, good start, great finish projects. Each project starts with a store-bought piece and then gets transformed into something that looks finished and custom. Outdoor greenery can look really beautiful at the holidays, but it can be a little scary to start from scratch. Grocery store arrangements are low budget, but can often look a little skimpy. The solution for getting a high-end look on a low-end budget is the good start, great finish plan. To begin, drop your store-bought planter into a large container. This planter had my fall mums in it, so I just removed them, kept the soil, and then just dropped the planter in. Discard the decorations that seem too generic. Now you can start filling in the arrangement with your added greenery. I grew up with white pine. I love the smell of it, and I love how it looks so fluffy, so I'm using a lot of it. Add in some other varieties like some BC cedar and some spruce to give it more dimension. It's easy to create a larger, impressive, well-shaped planter when you have the basic shape to work from. This arrangement is beautiful as is, but you can always take it one step further and add some twinkle lights. Make sure to use strings with incandescent bulbs for a warm glow and a green wire that won't show. Wreaths are a traditional part of any Christmas decor, but it's time to ditch the unsightly over-the-door hanger for a more elegant alternative. For this good start, great finish project, you'll need two store-bought natural wreaths, about six meters of wide satin ribbon in the color of your choice, two quick-release sticky tabs, some strong tape, a safety pin, and a pair of scissors. Position your wreaths on your door to determine where you want your sticky tabs. Cut your ribbon the length of your door, just shy about eight inches. Use some strong tape to adhere it to the top of your door. Cut the ends into tidy points. Next, cut a slit in the ribbon to let the hook poke through. Cut two short lengths of ribbon and loosely wrap and secure around the top of each wreath using your safety pins. With the remaining ribbon, tie a large bow and secure it to the top of the wreath with a safety pin. Safety aside, illuminating your porch provides a warm and welcoming glow to your home. For this final good start, great finish project, you'll need some store-bought lanterns and pillar candles, some festive greenery like these white berries and pine, and some pruners. Light these up just before your guests come and carefully close the lantern. Don't you just love when form and function meet so perfectly in the middle? Tis the season for love and joy, not stress and fear. Take a deep breath. It's going to be okay. Using today's tips, you can make your porch holiday ready. Subscribe if you can't wait to spruce up your front porch. Subscribe if you are pining for these projects. Subscribe if you cedar whole family during the holidays. <laughs>